Hey guys, Randall's here from IoT Tech, and today we're taking a look at Netatmo's full weather station kit. So from left to right, we have the main weather station. This smaller one here is the outdoor sensor. This one is the rain gauge, and this one here is the wind gauge. So in the main kit, you will be getting these two devices, and these two here are available to purchase separately. So as you come to expect from Netatmo, they're all wonderfully designed. These in particular look very much like their Naatmo Welcome Security Camera, whereas these two are slightly different, but still well designed and will be sitting outside. So to me, these kind of look a bit like high-tech garden ornaments. So that's quite nice for, you know, a bit of a gadget geek like me. So there's a nice little feature on the main weather station cam, and that's just a little touch button here on the top. So with a press there, that will light up, as you can see in there which will give you a quick indicator of the current CO2 levels. So this will alert you straight away if you need to open the window for a little bit and let things air. If you're living in a city, then you probably have quite high CO2 levels all the time. The device will automatically calibrate itself using the outdoor sensor, but you can also manually calibrate it as well in the app. You get prompt notifications from the app for anything you should be alerted to. So you can get notifications if there's heavy rain, for example, using this one, or if it's getting windy because of this one. And of course, if there's, you know, a lot of CO2 outside that day and that kind of thing. Um, the only thing that I would mention is that the devices don't support five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now that's probably a deliberate decision because of 2.4 gigahertz tends to travel further. So it makes more sense for a device like this, but it's just worth noting. So with that all being said, now let's jump into the app and see what we can do. As you can see, it's very slickly designed. It just shows you all the information you want nicely presented. Here you can straight away see the current CO2 levels in your in the location of your indoor sensors. So here it's showing that I have currently um, a satisfactory amount of CO2 in the room, so I don't need to open the window just yet. It will also even tell you things like the noise levels. So I'm clearly not being loud enough at the moment because of it's still saying that I'm quite quiet. Up here you have the outdoor temperature as well as the pressure what it feels like and the humidity. This will show you the upcoming forecast. And if we flick between this, you can start to see other things from the other sensors, like the current amount of rainfall, as well as the wind. And over here shows you the CO2 levels in your area outside. If we jump a little bit further into this menu on the side here, we have the weather map, which I feel could be a little bit um, a little bit dangerous. You can opt out of it, but this will show you all of the other Neatmo weather stations in your area and what they are uh, what they are reporting. If we go into the settings here, then you can access your weather station and see. All of the other gauges and their current radio signal and battery status which is of course very useful for people who live in cities as i mentioned earlier in this video then you can manually recalibrate the device so that you know it's not constantly complaining that you're too high of a level of co2 when it's currently the outdoors which you can't really change so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please make sure you like and share and subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest content. And hopefully we shall see you in the next one.